Now, brothers, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad forced a black man to get out. Force you, man, to go out and face that world for your wife, for your children. Now, in the beginning, in truth, our women stayed home. The men went out and fought this enemy in the world, brought the money home for her to take care of the children. That's the way it was with me when I first became a Muslim and I got married. I didn't have any children at first. <laughs> I never expected my wife to go out to work unless there was some absolute necessity. Now listen to this. My wife had more money sometimes than me when we were growing up together. She would always want to buy me things. I refused. From a little boy and I, but 15, 16, 17, I do not allow a woman to take care of me. My mother did that. I didn't marry a mother. You understand? This is my life companion. You're not my mama, so I don't call you, hey, mama. I ain't got but one of those. And if you're not my mama, then I don't call, hey, pretty mama. See, that's a little boy that's still looking for a mother. He don't really need a wife. He wants a mother to look after him, to take care of him. And this is what most of our marriages end up with a mama. And that's why we use them nasty language, or that nasty language that we use, because the woman has never been treated as an equal sharer in this uh, partnership. She's been treated like she's our mother that has to help to nurture and develop us. Uh, brothers and sisters, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad never liked that. He didn't like that in a man. He never liked no man that couldn't stand up and be a man. See, there really is no excuse, man, in truth. I know it's hard out there, but when you got a wife and you got children, don't talk about it's hard, make a way. Because if you got the will, God will make a way, you will always be able to look after you.